All right, in this video, we're gonna be drilling on the punch bag, some ground and pound work. And what we're gonna do here is simulate four basic positions on the bag and utilize striking through each of them. So the four positions that we're going to go through are first of all side, mount or side control from here. So we're gonna be in on this position, keeping good pressure all the way through, good stabilizers through the feet. It's difficult to get any decent grips going on, but make sure that upper body pressure through the shoulders and or through the chest is there and then utilize those strikes to maximum effect. We've done a different video on this, talking about the technique of some of these strikes, but just briefly to tell you that these elbows can be operating at full temperature whenever possible. So open to close on the arm, make sure the knuckles are focused in on the targets as often as possible for maximum damage as you're getting them strikes through. And then look to the opposite shoulder to give you a little bit of extra momentum, a little bit of extra power into the strike. So if I'm striking on my left hand from here, then my right, shoulder is just going to switch back and open as I fire that in just to help me get a little bit more power into those shots. You can also utilize some side fist strikes from here, get some knees going if you want to mix things up a bit. So just try and keep good pressure and a nice variety of strikes. Then we're going to look at hitting a center mount position. So right in on the person, good structure through the base and the feet, nice stabilizers as you're going through. You can be hitting low positions where you're getting some little attrition strikes going in. From here, sitting fully up and getting striking going. If you're in this position, look after your posture. Make sure your hips are pushing back. Make sure your posture is nice and tall from here. You don't want to be hunched over where you can be getting gripped or punched back from here. So nice tall posture, good solid strikes as you're coming through. If you're down, similar tips that we talked about with side control, Make sure you're utilizing those elbow joints. Focus the knuckles in and watch the opposite shoulder for a bit of extra dig. After you hit the target, get them stabilizers back out again. Don't get caught with your arms in where you're gonna get swept over. Also, we're gonna sit off the end of the bag here so that we can imagine being caught in a guard position. So we imagine this person is grounded and has their legs in control of us. We're trying to stay nice and stable and get strikes done without leaving ourselves too exposed. So we're gonna make sure the hands stay off the mat. We can get nice, solid structure and posture through the legs and through the hips. We're gonna have our arms in defensive positions. So broadly tucked back in towards your own ribs and your hips. And you're gonna make sure you're nice and strong through the neck and the head position. And then strikes can be coming in to the body or to the head. You can be posturing up a bit and striking, but make sure you settle back down into good clean positions. You can be hitting strikes up the middle, adding some elbows in there as well. So mix them all up as you're going through from here, but make sure if you've done the strikes, you don't get careless and leave your hands in bad positions, that you tuck them back in to tidy places after you've done the strikes. Final position that we're gonna add into this drill is rolling underneath the bag or imagining that you've got swept over and you've ended up on the bottom. So jump onto the bag, sweep it over on top of you from here, and then practice different leg positions. Sometimes pulling it in tight, sometimes kicking it up and away and utilizing different placements with the legs. Sometimes pushing up through the upper body and getting some strikes going in from here. You can even hold it up with the legs and strike from these positions as well. So from here, good variety again, and the same kinds of tips apply. Don't forget to utilize the elbow joints when they're available. Knuckles turned in and opposite shoulder can help you dig through on those. You can even hit some little knees in from this position just to give you something a little different to work with from there. Then the drill is simple. You just run through those four different positions as you like, as you go through the time that you want to run it. Two minute round, three minute round, whatever you want to run. Try to be clean and tidy on the transitions. So you can practice little quick transitional positions from side to mount if you like, and you can practice good pressure on as you extract yourself and come back off again from there. So make sure that you're not just relaxing and casually moving between the positions. Make sure you've got pressure and focus on your positional play all the way through the drill. So we might start in side control and get going from here. I'll give an example of how the drill would look. <laughs>
you get the idea. So nice bit of freedom to work through those four different positions. Stay focused as you're doing it. Try and hit clean, tidy positions. Focus on maximizing the power in those strikes. And of course, have fun with it. It's a good fun drill to do. More uh, MMA drills coming up. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, check it out on ufcsecrets.com.